Hello, YouTube. All right, it is time for my choices for TGA or the Game Awards. There's 29 votes to cast. And uh, we are starting at the back, so uh, Game of the Year will hopefully be the last thing I do. All right. Let's keep in mind, I'm not going to know every game or organization or everybody, period. All right. Uh, best esports team. Sp recognizing a specific esports team, not the full org, judged by the most outstanding for performance and conduct in 2024. Okay, we got Billy Billy Gaming, Gen G, Navi, T1, and Team Liquid. Hmm. I just got to go T1. They've been so insanely dominant in that scene for so long. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right. Next category. Uh, oh, I don't care about this. Okay, I got that. Best esports athlete. All right, let's see what we got. We got 33, uh, Alexis IB, Chuvi, Baker, Ziwu, and Zimjk. Jesus. Th the answer is Faker. Like, legitimately, out of everybody on this list, that is the only one I know. Oh, okay. I guess I got to go previous for all of these. All right. Best esports game. Hmm. What the fuck is Mobile Legends Bang Bang? I've never heard of that in my life. Okay. Hmm. If CSGO was on here, maybe I'm not sure if Counter Strike 2 has quite hit that level yet or any of uh, that of any regard. Honestly, mm, League. It's just going to be League. Content Creator of the Year. Okay. I know two people on here. I know who Queso is, and I know who Osada Picora is. And hmm. And considering I'm going to be playing Hollow Cure after this, yeah, Pico. Osada Picora. All right, everything seems to be working. By the way, audio check. How do I sound, guys? Am I good? Most anticipated game. Okay. Now, for, be careful you don't accidentally click queso, he's hard to miss. <laughs> okay, most anticipated game. Now for me, it's an easy pick. Monster Hunter Wilds, for me. I can t but I can tell you, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to win this category. I don't agree with it. I think Rockstar has kind of fucking fallen off a, a cliff lately. I'll be... Because GTA 6 is going to win this category. Hey, Xenosaga, we are discussing the Game Awards. And we are on most anticipated game right now. Like, I'll be blunt, I have no interest in Death Stranding. Didn't play the first one. None of that. Don't really care. I remember when people were anticipating Death Stranding too, but then people remembered the first game. Yeah, Ghost of Yote. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, that's the next one after Ghost of Tsushima. Metroid Prime 4. Honestly, I understand the anticipation because it's a Nintendo property. But I'm going with Monster Hunter Wilds for me. Because that is the one I am most anticipating. 
Like, that's not even close. Best adaption. Uh, recognizing outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentic, authentically adapts a video game to another entertainment medium. Ooh, okay. I can tell you right now, these three do not matter. Nothing against... I love Yakuza. I love the franchise. I have not seen an, a minute of the show. It's going to come down to Fallout or Arcane. That it's either one of those. And I don't know. Like I haven't watched a minute of Arcane. And Fallout, from what I saw, was really good. But everything I've heard about Arcane is it is absolutely fucking fantastic. So I'm just... Uh, for best best adaptation. Mm. It's got to be follow-up for me. All right. Best multiplayer. Okay. For outstanding multiplayer game and design, including co-op and massively multiplayer experiences, irrespective of game, genre, or platform. Ooh. Hmm. That's, this is actually a tough one because everything I've seen of Helldivers, like, this is, I'm taking this out of the Cotter Helldivers. Hmm. I don't know, like, Everything I've seen, like, taking it out of the Sony bullshit that happened with Helldivers 2. This has been one of the, this was one of the biggest games of the year. Helldivers 2, like, no question. I don't play or watch most of these. Well, shocking, you're a Xenosaga fan. Y you are a single player RPG type of person. I watch quite a few of these on uh, YouTube. Which is why, honestly, I might lean towards Super Mario Party Jamboree. Because holy fuck, I have seen so much of this. It is incredibly popular and it's like content creators from every spectrum seem to fucking love Mario Party Jamboree. But it's talking about best multiplayer. Mm. I haven't seen much of Space Marine 2's multiplayer. Like, I know there's co-op. Tekken 8 is just a really fun fighting game with a solid-as-fuck engine. Does this mean I should get Mario Party? Honestly, if you are if you can get a little group together, like you, Orc, pull in, uh, oh god, Stewie, and like someone else, like get a four-player thing going, I legitimately think you would enjoy the fuck out of uh, Mario Party Jamboree. I don't have it. I barely. The last book, the last uh, Switch game I played was Pokemon Violet. But I'm I am taking Helldivers to away from. I don't think Orc is cool enough to own a Switch. Big L. Oof. Yeah, that's a that's a big L. Well, I'll be honest. I don't own a Switch either. It's Scarlet's. But honestly, best multiplayer? Nah, it's Helldivers 2. I've never seen a community come together so hard to, like, do shit. Best sports racing. Wow. All of these fucking suck. <laughs> Legitimately. I don't even want to give it to WWE. Because it was a fucking joke of a game. Yeah. I'm still going to vote. Just I'm, I'm going to do my votes. For best traditional. Because F1 has been garbo for years. Same thing with fucking FIFA. I know it's an EA Sports FC. No, it's fucking FIFA. <sighs> Legitimately probably just. 
2K25. Sure. Don't really care. Best sim strategy. Okay, okay. Age of Mythology, Frostpunk 2. Kunesu, Gami, Path of the Goddess, Manor Lords, and Unicorn Overlord. Uh, it has a stupid name, but apparently the game is legitimately good. I haven't touched... Uh, don't, honestly, Manor Lords. Slavic magic hooded horse. Sure. Why not? Best family game. But appropriate for family, irrespective of genre. But my brain goes Astrobot instantly. Mm. I'm not leaning Mario Party Jamboree because. That's not a family game. That's a fist fight game. If you're playing that with children, those children are fighting. All right. I haven't touched the plucky squire. So I'm leaning Astrobot or Echoes of Wisdom. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, Astrobot. Honestly, I agree with you. Best fighting game. Uh, do, do, do. Apparently, Sparking Zero is quite good. My family playing Monopoly on the PlayStation. That's a fight controller flying everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus never played. I love Marvel vs. Capcom. Never touch multiverses. Uh, legitimately, legitimately Tekken Eight. It's the most solid, you know, one v one fighter out of all these. All right, eleven best RPG. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Now we're getting to the hard shit. Best RPG. Okay. Sorry, Dragon Dogma 2. You are not even in this conversation. Okay. Metaphor Re Fantasio. Fuck, I want to play that. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. That is a game I want to play very badly. Bomb Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Honestly, if I could get like a... Because Rebirth is technically the second game, right? Because there was Bomb Fantasy 7 Integrate or whatever. The full edition, whatever. Hang on, hang on. Let me just check something. Yeah, Palm has these seven remake intergrade. Intergrade. It should be coming through here. Apologies. Yeah. Palm Fantasy 7 Remake. That is like the Palm Fantasy 7 Remake first one, but that is everything. You know what? There we go. Honestly, I have no interest in Final Fantasy 16. I forget with these. That's Final Fantasy 6. But it's the Pixel Remaster. My curiosity is. The fuck? 
What the fuck is this music? Okay, at least you're sticking with the proper pixel art. Okay, anyway, sorry, just, I am very, very finicky when it comes to stuff like that. All right, but, uh, best RPG, legitimate, uh, like, Shadow of the Erd Tree, oh. I still don't think it should be here. It should be in its own category called best DLC. Uh, RPG though, I know Erd Tree is going to win, but I'm going with my heart like a dragon, infinite wealth. Best action adventure. Wow. There's literally one good game on here in terms of an actual action adventure. And it's Silent Hill 2. Let's be real here. Out of all these. Yeah, it's fucking Silent Hill 2. Best action. Oh, okay. From horror game to action adventure and remake. That, that is a big L. Yeah, but that's why it was under the action-adventure genre. But yeah, best action game. Hmm. Okay, for me, it's either Space Marine 2 or Wukong. Like, do I want to lean more... For the best game, and primarily focused on combat. Not still, not at all. That that leans more towards near. I call it spectacle fighters like Bayonetta, Near Automata, Devil May Cry, Stellar Blade. That that's like, eh. Those kind of games. Also, why the fuck is Black Ops 6 in this category? Get the fuck out of here. Honestly, for me, Space Marine 2. Best VR AR. Um, all right, keep in mind, I do not have a VR or an AR like headset. But legitimately, from everything I've seen of it, Metal Hellsinger is apparently, like, fantastic. So that's what's getting my vote. Best mobile game. Okay. There's one that's li that's jumping out to me right now, like a fucking gun. Like, okay, I'll tell you right now. I have Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket on my phone right now. It is not the best mobile game of the year. It's not even close. Haven't touched Wuthering Waves or Zenless Zone Zero. Not my thing. Legitimately, Balatro. Everything I've seen of that game, like, I just want to play it. Best debut indie game. Hey, Final Echo. How's it going? Okay, best debut indie game. We got Animal Well. Oh, 
God, why does Animal Well sound so familiar? Wasn't that a game that was really, like, helped out by Donkey or something? I forget. But best debut, the, it's Baladro again. It needs any indie stuff, Baladro is probably going to sweep. Best independent game. <laughs> Another Animal Well, Baladro, Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, Neva, and UFO 50. You somehow survived the day and need sleep, but good. How are you? We are just going over the Game of the Year uh, nominees, and I'm choosing who I'm voting for. And it's Balatro for a third time. Best Community Support. Huh. Recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive of social media activity, and game updates slash patches. Okay, we got Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, Helldivers 2, and No Man's Sky. Not Helldivers. Uh, keep in mind, this is, this is irrespective of the bullshit Sony. Bold. Yeah. It do doesn't have the greatest community support. But I'm just saying, like, honestly, I'm leaning towards No Man's Sky. Yeah, I'm kind of with Dragon Ness on this. If there's an opposite of community support, that game has it. Yeah, honestly, the way No Man's Sky was able to literally pull themselves out of literally being the punching bag of the internet into something like people genuinely like. Uh, honestly, yeah, No Man's Sky. Best ongoing. Okay, well, I'm taking Diablo 4 off there right fucking now. Don't think No Man's Sky deserves it? Eh. Well, hey, remember, Ork, you can go to thegameawards.com and, uh, vote as well current year 2024 game out in 2016 yeah but it's still being supported with updates patches and you know it's still being kept relevant because okay then ask yourself this for your vote w what would you choose because that's also what this is this is meant to uh instigate discussion This is hard choice. That is because you have terrible taste. Taste the evidence. You are dating me. This is a hard, yeah. Best ongoing. Look, I'm, I'm leaning 14 because it's always had a solid community. You anyway, are. Honestly, I'm not, I'm leaning away from Destiny 2. I don't give an app an iota of a fuck about Fortnite. Honestly, for me, best ongoing, 14. It's just... Games for impact. For a thought-provoking game with a pro-social media meaning or message. Okay. I'll be blunt, I have not touched or played any of these. Closer, closer the distance. Indica, Neva, Life is Strange, Double Exposure. I don't like the Life is Strange series in general. Senua Saga, Hellblade 2, or Tales of Kenzera Zao. Hmm. I don't know, I just... I enjoy, like, the episodic story games, but Life is Strange just never grabbed me. Period. Uh, I believe 2 was good for the little I played, but game kept 
lagging so it could not finish it. Probably the only time I'll use a safe word is when Orc will make me play League. No, that's just a red light. Hey Nez, you want to play uh, League of Legends? Red light, red light, red light, fucking red light. Wait, 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 wait. You hear, hey Ness, want to play uh, League of Legends? This is what, how you respond. All right, I'm gonna go for a Hellblade too. I came. All right, hang on. All right, let me get to the next uh, innovation and accessibility. All right, well, first things first, stretch. Uh. And hydrate. Okay. Innovation and accessibility, recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and content to help the game be played and enjoyed by an even wider, an even wider audience. Oh. I wish they would have put like a little thing here that shows what they did for that because... Yeah. Honestly, I guess Black Ops 6, I guess. Best performance. Uh, Brianna White from Rebirth. Hannah Tell from Life is Strange. Umbilly Gonzalez from Outlaws. Luke Roberts from Silent Hill 2. And Melina Jurgens from uh, Hellblade 2. Uh, uh, legitimately, probably Luke Roberts. Best audio design. Oh. Hmm. I I've never liked Hellblade's audio. I know this is that's so weird and so weird to say, but I don't like it. I think it is way too overwhelming. And I before people say like, oh, that's the point. It's meant to be like, you know. Someone who isn't in their right mind is like, yeah, that doesn't mean it's fun to watch or listen to. Uh, okay, I'm... Mm. Honestly, Silent Hill 2. All I've watched of it, sound design's fucking great. Best score in music? Hmm, hmm. They're going to get me because I'm a Final Fantasy nerd. Best art direction. Mm. Metaphor. Best narrative. I don't even get... Hmm. Infinite Wealth. Those games are always just batshit insane in a good way. Best game direction. Awarding for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. Oh. Uh. Shadow of the Earth Tree. Game of the year. Legitimately, I do not think Shadow of the Earth Tree should be on here. It's an expansion pack. It's DLC. Shouldn't be on there. That is my honest opinion. So I will out of like it may be the best game on this list, but it is not a new released game. It is DLC. It is an expansion pack. It should have its own category, absolutely. Put in there with the final shape. And like Vessel of Hatred.
sadly, I know it's going to win. But all things considered, you know, fuck it. It's fuck it. Balatro game of the year. That is my one troll pick. All right. I will probably put this up later today, so I will see you later, YouTube.